Oh, oh man, it's getting bigger, Gary. It's getting bigger. It's getting closer to Woodward, three miles southwest of me. A uh, very large tornado on the ground right now. Oh, power line flash straight ahead of us. A lot of power line flashes. Oh, my goodness. There it goes, guys. It went, it went over Hank's trail. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. I got to keep calm. Here we go. For nearly three weeks, we have been producing this video to share with you the many positive things happening at your alma mater, and we still intend to do so. But in the morning hours of Sunday, April 15th, this video changed, as did the lives of hundreds of people affected by a tornado that ripped through Woodward, Oklahoma. The tornado missed our Woodward campus by just a couple of hundred yards, but destroyed more than 100 homes and businesses, including the homes of several Northwestern students and alumni. Early on Monday, Northwestern students and employees began contacting my office with a common theme. What can we do to help? They felt a need to serve, they wanted to help their fellow students, and they wanted to make sure Northwestern played a role in the recovery. In short, they acted like rangers. Within days, the ranger relief effort had been created, and by Friday, approximately 80 students and employees descended on Woodward to assist in the cleanup. They picked up debris, found a wedding dress in a tree with hopes of reuniting it with its owner. They shared a time of fellowship, and they also shared a tear. Some of this group returned again the next day because more needed to be done. Working alongside of them, it became clear that while Northwestern has enjoyed much success this year, in my mind, our greatest success is that we have the best students and employees in all of higher education. They give, they serve, and they lead, not for fame or recognition, but because it's the right thing to do. In the last week, the students and employees represented Northwestern with the highest level of servant leadership. I'm extremely proud of my alma mater, and you should be as well. Now on to the rest of our presentation. For more than a year, there have been those in Oklahoma and across the nation that have raised questions about the value of higher education and earning a college degree. However, when one looks at this evening's outstanding graduates, it becomes very clear that Northwestern Oklahoma State University has played and will continue to play a life-changing role in the lives of more than 2,000 students each year. One sign of Northwestern's vitality is enrollment. Our enrollment in 2011 was 2,273 and mirrors the near record enrollment levels reached in 2010. Enrollment of first time freshmen also continued at a near record pace and the number of students residing in on campus housing continues to increase. The number of Over the past three years, Northwestern has invested $850,000 in residence hall upgrades, including lighting, renovated bathrooms, and floor covers. Students consistently give student housing and campus dining positive marks. The combination of affordability and Northwestern scholarship program continues to be a major draw for students. The generosity of our alumni and friends continues to serve as an example for every university in Oklahoma. This 
fiscal year 2011 was the most successful fundraising year ever in the history of Northwestern, with more than $3.9 million raised. plays a critical role in advancing the work of Northwestern. The heart of the university is its faculty, and Northwestern is extremely proud of the work of its professors and instructors. This work is recognized on a national and international scale. Western students also plan to continue their education and have been accepted for graduate study at a number of universities. Amanda Moyer of Fargo will begin medical school at the University of Oklahoma. Alan Moyer to OU will be walking around the at the end, who has been accepted to the OU School of Pharmacy, and Crystal Vincent Beatrice, who will be attending to the Therapy School. Shannon Rose and Vince Lauderdale, both of Alba, have been accepted to physical therapy programs at Wichita State University. 
and Chase Rossworth of Ringwood will attend the College of Optometry at the Eastern Center. In addition, Eric Hodges of Newcastle has been accepted into a number of neuroscience doctoral programs, and Gerald Barra of Nairobi, Kenya, has been accepted into the graduate program in biological sciences at the University of Washington. eager to continue the tradition of excellence exemplified by so many of you here today. Here are some of their stories featured in your own words. Through Northwestern, through the generous donations for scholarships, the welcoming faculty, and just the great student body, I have been able to pursue my dream of continuing education. I graduate in May, and because of the education I received here, I am going to master school. And once I get my master's, I will be living the dream that I've always uh, thought of. Through my profession of social work, I hope to be helping people and helping people get into education because I was not supposed to be able to go to college. I was not supposed to be able to graduate high school. In my hometown, they didn't expect me even to get to high school. However, I escaped the cycle of poverty, the cycle of abuse, mental, physical, and emotional. And I really want to inspire people to continue their education and I would refer any child that's gone through what I have to Northwestern because it is that welcoming family and it is that home away from home even if you don't have a home. My favorite thing about singing is that it's a gift and gifts are meant to be given. Um, Whenever I start singing, it's not me anymore. It's the composer, it's the message, it's the art. After graduation, I hope to pursue an acting and singing career. I'll move to New York City uh, nearly immediately after graduation. Um, slightly terrifying, yet extremely exciting. These last three and a half years at Northwestern, I know that my future is bright and I will never forget the community of Northwestern who have helped me 
pull myself up and succeed. I remember the first science class I took, which was with Dr. Murthy Botany when I was a freshman. And I remember how I approached problems and how I thought about science when I was in that class. And the kind of questions I asked and what I was interested in back then. And now, as a senior, I'm taking, you know, much different classes that require much different kinds of ways of thinking. And just from my own evaluation, just to see how I, how, how I used to think and how I think now, it's, it's quite different. You know, I have learned to reason, to be able to think, to think critically about problems and to be able to work with new information that's presented to me so that I can understand it. That's the, how, how, the transformation that I've had while, while I've been at Northwestern. After graduation, I hope, of course, to go to graduate school. So I will be going to the University of Washington where I will join a, a program that's it's a pathobiology PhD program. So I, I of course hope to finish the PhD, finish my PhD, and I hope to do the things I, uh, I I'm interested in, in to 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 study about viruses, to study about bacteria. More most importantly is hopefully to make a contribution to science and to the practice of medicine that will last longer than I will and uh, that will be something that I can be proud of, that I can tell my kids about, and that, that will be pop, uh, give meaning to, to my life and to my existence. Everybody's so welcoming here in Alva. So they, they make the college kids feel more at home here in, at Northwestern. This, the professors help, the advisors, everybody helps kind of give a homely atmosphere, I guess. Scholarships have given me education. I don't know how I would have made it through these four years without scholarships. Um, Northwestern is really great about granting students scholarships, whether it's coming into college or continuing scholarships. There's, there's nothing like having a little bit of backup from the community. I know a lot of these scholarships are community-based. A lot of alumni have given a lot of money. There's a lot of donations. And it shows it's, kids are staying in school longer here. They're enjoying it. They're given the chance to succeed in college. Without these scholarships, I don't know how that would happen. After graduation in May with my, or my bachelor's in criminal justice, I am going to come back in the fall to start work on my second degree, which is health and sports science education. I'm pretty sure that it's going to take two years, so after this graduation I'm going to come back and see Northwestern for two more years. So I'm pretty excited about it. I know this is what I want to do. So I want to become a high school teacher and a high school coach. So it's been a lifelong dream and I put it off for a while and now I know this is what I want to do and Northwestern is going to help me make it happen. I feel like the education I received here at Northwestern has prepared me well for um, my future. I have been accepted to the physical therapy program at the University of Oklahoma and I feel like I will be just as um, qualified as any of the other students because of the education I received here. Northwestern is kind of like my home. I mean I consider it a great place to be. I wouldn't change my decision to come here for anything. Um, I am very happy with the decision I made to attend Northwestern and finish out my degree here. I think the education I received was the top quality you could ever ask for. The scholarships I received here at Northwestern have meant a lot to me. And because of the scholarships I received, I was able to graduate completely debt-free. I think Northwestern has helped me to become um, more of a leader because of the classes I took, but also because of the people you're surrounded with. There are plenty of people on campus that are very much leaders in my opinion. They are good role models to have. They show you what it's like to be a good leader, and that's very motivating for my future. And when I am in um, a community and looked at by younger students or even people of my age, to be like the people here at Northwestern and have that leadership ability. And I know that many characteristics of leadership have been 
um, changed and modified in my life because of my um, journey here at Northwestern. You can clearly see one cannot face a man on the face of the moon.